Good afternoon, everyone. I'm really happy to be here. My name is Anthony Bear. I'm chairman and co-founder of Insect. We farm insects and we process them into natural premium ingredients for animal feed and fertilizers. Um, since I was really a little boy, actually, I've been passionate by this creepy, crawly world, you know, catching butterflies when I was a boy. Uh, later, uh, taking pictures of small insects, often in very uncomfortable positions. And later, in 2007, 27, I launched an NGO with a friend, Alexis, uh, dealing with food sustainability, promoting in schools the use of earthworms to recycle organic waste and promote this as a very sustainable way to uh, handle our, our waste. From this, from earthworms, we, we moved to the insect ID with my other co-founder, uh, Fabrice Jean-Gabriel, and then Alexis. And in 2011, we launched insect, uh, really producing insect for animal feed. But not uh, any kind of insect, uh, beetles. Mealworm beetles. This is the, the small larvae we farm and we process then for uh, uh, gaining ingredients for animal feed and, and plant fertilizer. It's a really, very good product. But do you know really yourself what uh, do the animals you eat and your pets eat every day? The salmon, the chicken you might have eaten today at lunch. It's actually mainly plant-based ingredients like soy, wheat, corn is the main part of the feed uh, any animals are eating from the salmon to the, to the cattle, to the pigs and poultry. But it's also uh, uh, in these big volumes, hundreds of millions of tons of production. But you have small quantities also of uh, premium ingredients. And the, the, the best of them today, it's a small one called uh, a fish meal. On top of the pyramid, small quantities, 5 billion tons is still a lot. Uh, but to compare to the 200 million tons of soil traded in the, uh, in, in the world. And what you see is today there are zero insects used in uh, any of the uh, animal uh, feed sector. So what is premium? Basically, it's providing nutritional performance and health benefits to the animals, having a lot of proteins, uh, low, small quantities of ashes or fibers like fish meal. And we'll see our product is very similar to this. And, and why the, 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 the premium is the, the, the area where we have the biggest market tensions is because this main ingredient in the premium is fish meal, and fish meal is basically small fish you catch in the sea. It's one quarter of all the fish we catch today in the world. It's mainly from South America. It's, it's a very good product. It's really uh, amazing in terms of uh, uh, nutritional performance and health benefits for all animals. But basically, the oceans is limited, and we don't have enough. They, they are not enough to supply the overall global demand, which is increasing because basically we eat more and more meat and fish, especially in, uh, in countries uh, like China, uh, in Southeast Asia, in Africa. So the demand is growing. The middle class is growing. The middle class is eating basically more chicken, more fish, uh, uh, more red meat. So facing uh, this situation, the ocean, the ocean will not uh, supply enough uh, and the stock is declining. So what we want to do is to provide a similar ingredient and releasing the pressure on the oceans uh, uh, and to supply sustainably uh, the, the, the market. So there is big tension on the market. At least 2 million tons is missing uh, now in the next few years. So really, insect today is redefining what is premium in, in the animal in plant nutrition. First, it's natural. Any, any animals almost uh, on earth are eating insects. Birds and fish could be a lot, could be in some cases uh, up to 80 or even 100% of their feed uh, in, during some life uh, stages. Uh, for wild pigs or wild cats, it's much less, but still, it does exist. Same for the plants, all our meadows, all our forests are fertilized by the work of earthworms and also insects with their manure, their, their compost, they're fertilizing our soil, uh, making the, 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 the overall life cycle of the organic matter. So this is natural, and today again, zero insect uh, on the, on our, uh, in our industrial ecosystems. Sustainable on different elements, uh, we have very uh, good evidence in terms of global warming reduction, 30% less greenhouse gas emissions, but here in terms of 
uh, biodiversity, you see, uh, we can help to release the pressure on the oceans with, for each ton of production of our proteins, save five tons uh, of fish uh, and spare it and for the future uh, generations. But it's not only the ocean biodiversity, it's also the terrestrial biodiversity. Uh, we are improving drastically the efficiency by building vertical farms. So then we use a very limited uh, quantity of land, and you see the quantities of proteins we can produce, more than 50,000 tons per hectare, much more than any other livestock or plants uh, on Earth. So we are limiting the impact on the uh, terrestrial biodiversity. And it's also performance and healthy uh, a product. Fish meal is already a, an amazing product, but this one is bringing even more. Uh, all the tests which has been done uh, during a few months in many different universities in Europe, in Asia, in the US, and with our customers, always proved that the fish were growing better, eating less for the same quantities, uh, eventually, of fish, of sea bass, of salmon, some trout, same for shrimps, and also with much less mortality. These numbers have been, have never, are never seen today in the sector in animal feed in terms of order of magnitude. Uh, same for the, uh, for the fertilizer, uh, these numbers of 30 to 300% increase uh, of yield compared to chemical fertilizers. Uh, was done on uh, wheat, on corn, on rapeseed, and also on tomatoes. So it's not only natural and sustainable, it's really bringing a lot of value for the farmers eventually, the, the fish farmers, or the wheat uh, producers. So in, in a tre really tremendous manner, you produce more because you have less loss uh, during the, 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 the production, and also using much less resources to feed these animals or to feed your plants, and also as they, they, you have less mortality, then you can use also less antibiotics uh, during the life stage. And we know it's a, it's a very important uh, topic, antibiotic resistance in, a, in overall uh, health uh, system. So basically, we can do more with less, which is the basis of uh, the DNA of the company, bring, providing sustainable ingredients, so producing more to, to answer the increased demand in the world from the middle class, but with less impact less demands of resources uh, and, and less use of different uh, therapeutics or uh, resources. And it's also not only technical, but it's delicious. As I said, this, this chef, Christopher, is based in Bergen in Norway. He tested uh, in his restaurant salmons, commercial salmons, and the salmons fed with our uh, um, mealworm proteins. And you see what he said, uh, the meat was the same, identical, same structure, same firmness. But even the, the, the flavor was a bit superior for the, for the salmon fed with our product, being, being closer to uh, wild salmon. So there is very, a lot of things, scientifically speaking, uh, to uh, dig up here in terms of uh, sensual analysis. So how, we do we, how do we do this? It's, with this vertical indoor farming. Uh, you will see after, from a small lab to this plant, we are running now for more than two years and a half in Burgundy in France. Uh, we have designed uh, a lot of innovations, how we farm these mealworms, how we process them to make these premium ingredients, gathering technologies from the food industries, uh, from the data centers, from also mining industry, from uh, uh, retail industry. We uh, took major technologies, apply them with the biology, uh, and deployed all these innovations. We have today 25 patents covering all our technologies, protected in more than 40 countries. Uh, and so this is a very scalable technology based on this uh, uh, convergence of robotics and all of us, a lot of sensors deployed in the factory to monitor and follow productivity, quality control, uh, and help the operators to to adapt uh, every day uh, their production systems. So this is a really big uh, trend in the world, vertical indoor farm in the US. You see uh, leafy greens and others. We do the same, uh, this uh, control environment agriculture, um, but with insects and mealworm especially. So in, in, the, in the factory itself, uh, as I said, it's not only proteins, it's also the fertilizers. And we generate also a, another product called uh, an oil, very adapted uh, for also the fish and the, and the pet food sector. What we have done uh, in the past few years, so we started in 2011 with my four founders you've seen in the beginning. And 
this is a, a deep tech business in, in this industrial innovation, so it takes time uh, to scale from a small, small lab to different pilots to this a small plant running now for more than two years. And we are now going to the last step, in building these very massive uh, factories. We are right in the administrative procedures. Um, and with all the work done we're on, the, on the plants, we could also attract a lot of customers, showing the great value of our product. And we have today more than 70 uh, millions of uh, orders booked uh, by different customers in the fish, pet, and plant nutrition. So this is something uh, that also convinced a lot of investors to uh, support us. And uh, we announced recently, a few weeks ago, uh, the, uh, cl our closing for the Series C, and uh, it was 125 million, uh, reaching 175 million in total funding in the past five years from uh, investors in Europe, in Asia, and, and the support of the state here in France with BPI and, and the European Union. So we, it's thanks to this uh, support, we have been through this um, uh, uh, scale-up uh, and, uh, and technology readiness levels and supported by different uh, partnerships with universities in France, in Europe, and, and, and beyond. Um, we are also doing a lot of legislative work. It's totally new. Uh, so I'm also uh, very happy and delighted to uh, chair the European Association of the Insect Sector, IPIFF, uh, and we have been in the forefront with uh, uh, the commission, European commissions to write also the new regulation covering the uh, insect sector for the fish farming and tomorrow for the chicken farming and pigs farming. So there are really a lot of needs in order to, uh, to, uh, to face all the challenges uh, for more sustainability. We know we need to reduce food waste. We know we need to use more plant-based ingredients, uh, like the Impossible Burgers, for instance. And we need more alternative proteins, uh, so either uh, um, uh, other insects, algae, yeast, um, and other worms. Uh, but what we say is today we have something in terms of position which is absolutely unique in terms of value given to the, uh, to the customers in terms of performance again and health in a never seen uh, a magnitude. So, so this is something we really highlight in our, in our uh, uh, company. So from four people you've seen in the beginning, we are today even more than 105, we are almost 110, 110 110 people uh, from about 20 nationalities um, and covering uh, like any company, but especially an industrial company, uh, anything from engineering, digital, and all supporting activities, farming, insect farming, engineering, etc. Our ambition is really big because what we want to do is to make an impact, to make a difference. This is what drives us and uh, our, all our colleagues. And to make an impact, we need to deploy not only one factory, but much more if we want to, to, to make this positive impact. So this is the target for us in the next decade, to produce at least a million tons from plus 15 factories. And this, this can generate more than 5 billion revenues. So you can think it's a bit insane, but just to uh, uh, remind, Animal feed and plant fertilizer in 10 years together will be 1,000 billion market. So it's one of the biggest markets worldwide, and we are eventually targeting 0.5%. Uh, so it's, it's a big ambition, but it's also uh, a huge, deep uh, uh, market. So we, we have the support of a lot of investors, really uh, uh, top tier uh, investors. We, we have a great product. We have commitment and, and, uh, and uh, take or pay commitment from uh, very large uh, customers in all our markets today. Uh, so uh, we, we are ready now to deploy our technology in France and beyond in Americas, in uh, Europe and in Asia, uh, and to really make the difference a positive impact, sustainable, following these United Nations uh, sustainable development goals uh, in terms of uh, health, uh, hunger, uh, industries, and uh, uh, biodiversity on land, biodiversity in the oceans. Thank you very much for your insects.